Andrew Shear went into Justin Trudeau's home riding, into the city that headquarters SNC-Lavalin, and promised to blow the whole thing wide open. A new Conservative government will launch a judicial inquiry into Justin Trudeau's corruption scandal. An inquiry and a brand new law, the bluntly named No More Cover-Ups Act, to stop the use of cabinet confidentiality to halt police investigations. Justin Trudeau should not be the person who decides whether or not Justin Trudeau is investigated. SNC-Lavalin has wounded Trudeau, but it hasn't sunk his campaign, as the Liberal leader has grabbed onto a premier-sized life preserver. Doug Ford, Doug Ford, Doug Ford. Doug Ford now gets more of Trudeau's attention than Andrew Scheer. The Ontario Premier's polls are in the tank, and just today, a new report that Ford's education plan will cut 10,000 teachers from the school system. While Doug Ford focuses on a buck a beer, there are grade 12 students that might not graduate this year because there aren't enough teachers to offer courses they need. So Trudeau warning against doubling down on provincial and federal conservatives, a pitch that resonates in a province where some Ford voters have buyer's remorse. But Shear's SNC-Lavalin attack plays very differently in Quebec, where the company is a source of economic pride than it does in the rest of Canada. Polls have shown that Quebecers are highly in favor of what Justin Trudeau did. Are you not costing yourself votes in a province that you so desperately need them? Not at all. I know that Quebecers are tired of being used as the excuse for Justin Trudeau's uh, scandals. So the resonance of Scheer's attack is less clear in Quebec, in a key province that plays a key role in every party's path to victory. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh said he too wants an inquiry into the SNC-Lavalin affair, said he's long called for one. But top of mind for him today was housing. Our plan will literally lift up 500,000 families and will give them up to $5,000 of support. Singh promised the NDP would provide annual rent subsidies to Canadians struggling to pay for housing. He also pledged to build half a million new affordable homes across the country over the next decade.